Traditionally, you'll go to the view resource sheet, and this is where you add your resource information. So the challenge when you have a resource information locally to a current file is, you might want to duplicate the same information across multiple files. The second challenge is, in case if a resource is overloaded with work, it is quite difficult to find it because the data is duplicated across multiple files. So I'm not going to add my resource information here. Rather, I'm going to go to the resource tab and I'm going to select the resource pool button and use this option called share resources. In share resources, you have two sections. The first section talks about the resources for the feasibility study. By default, it refers to its own resource sheet. The second option says, or should it use the resources from a different file called as resource pool. So all the files that are open now in my machine are listed in this dropdown. So I have a blank project, I also have the resource pool. So make sure that your resource pool is selected. There is always a chance that before you try to use this option, you would have had some resource data in your local resource sheet. So in such cases, there might be a conflict because the same resource name might be used across the resource pool and your local file. So in case if there is a conflict in terms of their calendar or resource information, you can try to set a priority here. What should ideally take prior priority? So the first option says the resource pool takes priority. The second one says the sharer takes priority. When I say sharer, the active project is what I call as a sharer file. So I'm trying to say here the resource pool always takes the priority here. And now let me say OK. You may not see any change on your Gantt chart, but now let me go back to my resource sheet. On my resource sheet, you can see the list of resources are automatically listed. So you might, it might look as if that the resource detail is copied from the resource pool file to my uh, current project. But the answer is no. It is not getting copied. It is referred from the resource pool. So I'm going to just insert a column on my resource sheet to make it much simple for you to understand. So I'm going to insert a column. And the name of the column is project. The purpose of this particular field is it will tell the file name okay, uh, where these resources are coming from. So naturally it says all these resources are referred from the resource pool file. Good. And also remember when you try to update the resource details on my resource sheet on my active project, naturally your resource pool will get automatically updated because both these projects are connected because we have shared the resource pool to my active project. Similarly, when your uh, resource pool file gets updated, for example, you change the calendar of the uh, resource in the resource pool, naturally all the files that are sharing, that are using this uh, resource pool will get automatically impacted. So we'll have a small demo of it later, but this is just to help you that we are only referring and bit is not a copy of your resource pool file. And now I'm going back to my Gantt chart. I'm just going to randomly assign some resources to these activities. So I'm going to say determine scope is this, securing project manager, defining the preliminary resources, sales guy, core resources, project manager. And uh, I'm just going to have a few set of resources. And let's say for scope complete, I will have the project manager. So remember, I have not followed the uh, systematic way of doing the assignment. But the purpose of this webinar is just to tell you how to share the resource across multiple projects. Now we have shared it. The moment you save this file, what happens is your active project is also getting saved. And also these references, whatever you have made, that this task should be done by these resources, is also getting updated in your resource pool file. Now I'm just going to open my other project the implementation project. So similarly, in my implementation project, I need to repeat the step of connecting this active project to my resource pool. So I go to the resource tab, resource pool, share resources. Currently, it refers to its own resource. I will say, you need to use the resources from the resource pool file. And I will say, OK. 
and I'm just going to assign some resources to these activities. Okay. So I hope you are able to see that after doing the assignment, you can see some of the activities will have this red color stick men. If you have attended my uh, resource optimization webinar, you would have noticed that the red color stick men indicates that these activities have some resources over allocated. So even the tooltip on top of the red color stick men says this task has resources assigned which are over allocated and right click for optimizations. Remember, this red color statement will not appear only for the implementation project. If I try to open my feasibility project also, you'll be able to find this red color statement appearing. So the benefit now what you have seen is, when you're sharing a resource pool across multiple projects, naturally project will help you to find out which resources are overloaded, which resources are underutilized in terms of your project objectives. So let me, me go back to my step two now. So I have shared, I have linked my resource pool to my projects here. So step three is we have to assign these resources from the resource pool. I remember using the Gantt chart, we were able to assign it. After assigning the resources, the step 